hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video we are going to learn and implement the radio buttons and how we can get the value or you can say the string from the uh, radio buttons that is let's say if a user select uh, Mohammed Ali and then click submit then you can see it get the text and it uh, we display that text or you can say that string on a message box or you can say on a dialog box now if a user select Peter Parker then you can see this okay and then let's say this user so if I click here you can see this so let's create a new project and Windows form app and the name for this app will be radio buttons and then press ok so it will create a new project for us so this is our project and now uh, we need to add a group box first if you want you can also just directly drag and drop the radio buttons okay and now what I'm going to do is to change the text or text size and if you want the text style then you can choose from here I will make it bold and the text size will be 16 okay which is this one so here I can simply select uh, give it any name that is let's say Peter Parker and then I can simply copy paste this and let's change the name of this second one to Sarah and this fourth one to let's say Deadpool then we need a buttons button one button basically so you can give it text so this will be submit and if you want you can change the uh, text color and all these things from here so yeah that's it now the next thing is to uh, assign some uh, name to it but if you want then the name of this one is radio button 1 radio button 2 and this one is radio button 3 and this is our submit button so we can give it a name that is btn submit and we want that whenever user click on submit then we should uh, first check that is which uh, radio button is selected by the user so that we can get the value of that uh, user okay so yeah, let's do that user or anything I mean if here are options like male female others we just want to uh, get the proper idea that is how we can work with the radio buttons in C sharp windows form application okay this is our main goal so what I did is I just double click on the submit button and in order to check that is which checkbox or you can say sorry not the checkbox I mean the radio button is selected it is basically the same uh, I mean the same same concept which we use for the checkbox okay that is in order to check that is which uh, radio button is selected for that we will use checked okay so here I can simply say if radio button one dot checked so if this is becomes equals to true so if this is true it means that this one radio button one is selected okay or you can say it is checked that is it will be in the dotted form now uh, for the other one we can first let do this so I want to store the text that is let's say if I select Sarah then I want to get this Sarah text and why I want to save it inside some uh, string type variable for the letter we use let's say so I will give it a name as uh, input string input and here I can simply say input and to get the text from the radio button 1 we can simply write radio button 1 dot text and it will get the text from that and it will store it inside this input variable now let's copy paste this for the second radio button so you can simply write here paste that and then again paste it so the second one name is radio button 2 dot check so if it is true 
we want to get the text from the radio button 2 and then the third one is radio button 3 radio button 3 and we want to display it in a dialog box so for that we can simply write message box dot show and what we want to show is input so yeah that's it now let's copy paste this also here and we can paste that here now let's run the app so our app is running now suc uh, successfully so by default Peter Parker is selected if I click on submit you can see this Peter Parker okay in the dialog box appear if I uh, select that pool okay you can select only one uh, radio button at one time okay this is basically the purpose of using the radio buttons that is you can select only one option at a time so if I uh, select that pool and click submit you can see that pool if I click Sarah click submit then you can see you get uh, Sarah and also if you want uh, then you can simply assign I mean uh, default text I mean custom text if you want that is let's say if you do not want that text which is uh, Peter Parker then you can simply uh, write here that is uh, the first name which will be Peter I mean uh, and then if I run the app so I mean you can give name I mean custom uh, strings or you can set text to uh, each radio button okay you can see this Peter and if I click that pool and you can see that pool so it is working fine this is amazing and yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now